Moses Moody is one of the NCAA's top scoring freshmen, but he's also tailor-made for today's NBA. This is floor and ceiling, let's break him down. Arkansas native Moses Moody chose to play for the Razorbacks over the likes of Michigan and Virginia. At Arkansas, Moody has seen his stock rise rapidly, going from four-star prospect in high school to at least a lottery pick in the 2021 draft. Moody is 6'6", 205 pounds, but it's his wingspan, reportedly at least 7 feet, that gives him the potential and versatility to be someone championship contenders would love to have a few years down the line. Moody's bread and butter is his three-point shot. That is where most of his offense comes from. About 41% of Moody's shots come from beyond the arc, where he has been quite good this season. As of this video, Moody is shooting 38% from deep. And like we know, three-point shooting is a tool that any wing in the modern NBA needs to have. Moody should come into the league armed with a decent outside shot. Moody is able to spot up or catch and then shoot. He doesn't pound the ball in the traditional sense of taking a bunch of dribbles and then doing something, but he is still productive. Moody averages 16 points per game and his shot looks legit. He's above 80% from the free throw line. But despite his good percentages from the perimeter and from the charity stripe, I do have a couple of small concerns about how Moody's shot looks. However, these are very fixable things, particularly when he gets drafted into the NBA or when he has an offseason to work on his game after his experience at Arkansas ends. The first is that Moody has a very noticeable tendency to kick out one of his legs as he lands on his shot. Referees sometimes give this as a foul in Moody's favor, but it really shouldn't be. His shot becoming more compact and with less moving pieces in the lower body would help Moody land on balance more often and perhaps improve his shooting even more. My second small area of improvement is that Moody's shot prep and release are not particularly fast. Moody's shot has a dip when he catches the ball, which isn't necessarily bad since plenty of great shooters have this, but he could speed it up just a bit and get into his shot faster. Aesthetics aside, one thing Moody definitely needs to get better at is shooting on the move. At this stage of his development, Moody is definitely more of a stationary shooter. If he isn't primed or already looking at the basket, Moody has a tougher time converting his threes. He cannot pull up into his shot very easily and he gets sped up because these situations often mean that a defender is diligently following him. Moody needs to get better and faster at setting his feet and squaring up to the basket to improve his shooting on the move. Another hole in Moody's game is simply that his offensive package isn't very expansive, or at least he hasn't shown that much at Arkansas so far. Moody is not very good at creating his own jump shot. He lacks wiggle and craftiness, and his pull-up is a little bit rigid. Most of the stuff he does is off one or two dribbles. Simply put, Moody isn't the type to break you down off the dribble. Unlike others in this draft class like Josh Christopher or Jalen Green for example, Moody is not a difficult shot maker or taker really. But the good news is that I don't expect him to have a lot of self-creation responsibilities early on in his career, if at all. Something that Moody is good at though is getting to the line. He takes 6 free throws per 40 minutes and like I mentioned before, makes 82% of them. Moody is a good athlete with a strong first step. He likes to drive right and can handle contact. Moody is able to absorb bumps. He's listed at 205 pounds, but he is built with wide shoulders and a strong frame. That's why it is so surprising to me to see Moody often struggle with finishing through contact and length. Moody is able to take these bumps, but he does not embrace this skill, at least yet. In regards to finishing through length, it is true that Moody is more of a below the rim athlete. He has a low center of gravity, but doesn't have an incredible leap off two feet. But as for finishing through contact, Moody has the body and skill set to do much better. Sure, Moody draws free throws driving to the basket, but he should probably be taking even more foul shots. Instead of regularly playing through bumps, Moody will sometimes try to go around players and finish acrobatically, which usually does not go well. Here, Moody has Tennessee's Victor Bailey coming at him, who is only 6'4". He tries to avoid Bailey and misses. Moody also struggles to change directions when he drives. He's much more of a straight line driver right now and doesn't seem to have the footwork or fluidity to, for example, bust out a Eurostep when he's getting downhill. 
If Moody can't or won't finish through contact or over length, then he should have an in-between game, but that hasn't materialized yet. I would like to see Moody have a floater, push shot, or pull up from mid-range in his arsenal. Ideally, this is what I want to see from him. A hard drive, a jump stop, and then a floater. But just to be perfectly clear, fans should not expect Moody to take over games. He's the type to give you a solid 15 a night while not making much of a fuss, but he will not monopolize the ball or pound the rock for 15 seconds every possession. There are times where maybe he has the possibility to look for his own shot, but doesn't. Moody is an unselfish player, and I think we need to make that very clear, especially should he get picked in or around the top 10. He's probably not going to be the star of your team, but that's perfectly fine. Moody's passing goes well with his unselfish nature and style of play. He is good at making passes on the move with his right hand, zipping them to his target at the right time. Moody is also capable of passing with both hands. When he can't explode to the rim or burst past his defender, Moody's ability to pass comes into play. He finds cutters on the move and gives them good looks at the basket. Moody is also good at finding his teammates for easy threes on extra passes. He doesn't force shots, so he has no problem at all facilitating for his teammates. However, Moody has to continue ironing out his passes. He makes the right reads, but his execution can be off sometimes. In total, Moody has one more turnover than assist through his first 21 games for the Arkansas Razorbacks. The good news is that Moody generally knows the pass he has to make, like I said. Now, it's just a matter of tidying up his execution and improving his reaction time to ensure that his passes are not picked off. One thing I do want to point out that I'll delve into a bit more later is how Moody operates almost as a big at times. In games where Arkansas saw a zone defense, or at least not a traditional half-court defense, Moody was the one tasked with making decisions in the center of the floor. He showed himself capable of handling these playmaking responsibilities, and made some passes that I think are translatable to short roll passes in the NBA. Moody has played a lot with Jalen Williams or Connor Vanover, who while taller than him, are not truly bigs. One of Moody's best and most surprising attributes at 6'6 is his ability to rebound. Moody averages over 2 offensive boards per game. I said earlier that he wasn't the quickest sleeper or best jumper, and that's still true. It's Moody's anticipation that makes him the first one to get to these balls. He knows where to position himself and fights hard to end up with possession. Moody is quick to lose balls, even in situations that aren't really offensive rebounds. I think it's just a matter of reaction time, and like I said, anticipation. Moody outthinks and outfights his opponents. He wants the ball more than them, and it's like his hands have magnets. I'm also a big fan of Moody's patience around the basket. It's almost like time comes to a stop for him as soon as he gets to the rim. Moody is always poised and never in a rush. He gets defenders on up fakes despite barely even actually faking. Every defender expects him to immediately go up, but Moody knows to bite his time, make his defender or defenders bite, and then finish uncontested. Moody's anticipation skills are also evident on the defensive end of the floor. The Arkansas native has a knack for being at the right place at the right time, and it's not through sheer luck, obviously. Moody knows when to rotate over and make a difference. Moody is a defensive playmaker because of his basketball intelligence. He is always alert and surveying the entire floor. I mentioned earlier that sometimes Moody does things that you'd almost expect a big to do, and that is true for his rotations on D. Moody averages under a block per game, but I don't think I would be amiss in saying that he is a rim protector. When he steps up to attackers, he doesn't have to block them to make an impact. Simply making them hesitate or pass it off gets the job done as well. Moody is a defensive stud who can be your prototypical 3 and D wing, but I think he can actually be a little bit more than that. Because of his build and 7 foot wingspan, I consider Moody a highly versatile defender. Arkansas has had Moody guard a wide array of players. Against LSU for example, he guarded two of their bigs. Here, he does a good job against Trendon Watford, and later on is paired with Darius Days who was LSU's center at this point in the game. Moody is also a capable defender against smaller players. He is blessed with great lateral quickness, meaning that he can get down in a stance and slide his feet to keep up with attackers. Moody is fearsome on D, 
constantly cutting driving lanes, making attackers uncomfortable with his insanely long arms, and almost always staying locked in. Here, he picks up Missouri's Javon Pickett, keeps up with him on the catch, and forces the travel and the turnover. In addition, Moody's awareness and physical tools allow him to pick up blocks, steals, and deflections. I mention this often in my videos, but when players have length, they need to know how to use it, and Moody knows how to use it. One last area that Moody is also talented at is defending the post with his sturdy frame. Watching him shy away from contact on attack is so frustrating because he doesn't do the same on defense, even when he does give up size. Of course, Moody is not a perfect defender. I don't want to give the impression that he is, so I have to mention that he does need to keep getting stronger, especially so he can guard bigs more often, and that he can die on screen sometimes. He'll need to improve on that in particular in the NBA. There are also times where he might take the wrong angle defending, but these things happen to any player. Moody is really talented on D as a whole and should be perceived among the top defensive prospects in the 2021 draft. Overall, like I said in the video, I wouldn't be surprised if Moody went in or around the top 10. I think that his ceiling might not be as high as some other prospects, but his floor is very safe and it is also considerably high. Moody is your quintessential 3 and D wing, who can shoot triples and defend at a high level. That's already something he's been doing at Arkansas. But if all the flashes pan out, then we're talking about a guy who will be able to shoot the ball from 3, who will be able to attack closeouts on some drives to the rim, either finishing or drawing free throws, who will be able to pass both on the short roll and just in general half court situations, and in general, he should be the perfect complement for a team who wants to make the playoffs or contend for a championship in the NBA. For a comparable player in the NBA who I can see Moody having a similar impact as, I think of Josh Hart. Moody can shoot the ball from deep, just like Hart. He can rebound very well for his size, just like Hart. Except that I think Moody is even more versatile. I think that he can really slide up and down positions at will, and that at some point, I wouldn't be surprised to see him play as a small ball five. Moody is also a higher volume shooter than Hart, and I have more faith that his shot will eventually become even more of a weapon from deep than it already is. As always, make sure to follow me on Twitter at WokoMCB, leave a comment down there telling me what you think of Moses Moody, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys next time.